Waiters on, equipment ready. Kyler Heckey steps into the chilly waters of Rock Creek in Morgan County, his workday beginning with a search. Heckey is a Ph.D. student at UT's Herbert College of Agriculture in Forestry, Wildlife, and Fisheries. His academic research focuses on saving the sickle darter, a small fish that's disappearing from Tennessee waters. To try to assess why a species is declining, uh, it is good to know, well, what does it eat, uh, what kind of habitat does it utilize, and you know, if we, if we lose that, we kind of lose that uniqueness of a high uh, fish diversity in Tennessee. Heckey searches for fish with what's called a pit tag reader. Earlier, he tagged a half dozen sickle darters on this tributary of the Emory River, but can't find them this day. They could have moved to spawn, or a recent flood may have displaced them. Here's GoPro video he shot recently of the sickle darters. The species was only first identified about a dozen years ago. You'll find the sickle darter here in Upper East Tennessee and parts of North Carolina and Virginia. It's petitioned to be listed as threatened by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And now this research looks to reverse the trend of losing this species. Even losing one small fish can throw an entire ecosystem out of balance. Uh, they, they play a vital role in an ecosystem uh, and is mainly in, t in the aquatic food web. Uh, you know, every species plays a role in the aquatic environment, whether it be, you know, food for, you know, your top predators or they help keep in check, you know, your aquatic inverts. Another concern here about saving the sickle darter, how clean is the water? Water quality seems to be a, a major issue with not only sickle darters, but a lot of other species, species. The sickle darter and this river system can thrive again. But first, it will take more wading in the water and an effort to encourage the survival of a species. This is Charles Denny reporting.